This is a uh, cabbage I got at Trader Joe's. It's uh, organic cabbage, and I'm going to take out off one of the outer leaves. Uh, let me just get that, and we're going to use this for a little experiment. Um, this cabbage is uh, largely water. It's a green vegetable, and uh, it's crunchy because it's got lots of water in it. It's quite a strong uh, uh, vegetable on the outer leaves as well. So if I just put it in the fire and take it away. Nothing's going to happen because there's so much water content in there. All that's happening is it's just warming up the water a little bit. If I leave it on a little bit longer, it's kind of getting a little bit, uh, it's almost hot now. If you leave it on long enough, what will happen is the water inside the cabbage will evaporate. And you can kind of see uh, the water starting to evaporate away. If I move it closer to the camera, you'll probably see a little little steam rising off it. Let's leave it long enough so that the water in the leaf is actually boiling. Takes quite a long time. Okay, so you can see steam is rising from it now. And eventually what's going to happen is that so much of the water will be removed from the cabbage leaf that it is going to be so dry that it will be able to catch fire. And that's happening around the edges of the leaf here. But as you can see, there's still a really large amount of water coming off this leaf. And I'm gonna to to leave it there long enough so we can actually get the main part of the leaf to burn. It's just taking quite a long time. Is, uh, you can see the leaf is actually shrinking away as, uh, as the water is removed, it feels now it's still a little bit damp, but it's very, very thin and dry, which is because the water's been removed. Most of the leaf, as I said, is actually water. And let's just finally get it completely dried out so it is actually is burning. There we go. Organic cabbage. Same as any other cabbage. So this video is to demonstrate the effect of water content on uh, combustion. This is just a, a sheet of paper, uh, which I'm going to tear into two pieces. One piece will be dry, uh, and the other piece will be wet. So I've got the two pieces. I'll just put one piece here for now, away from the flame, and the other one I'm going to stick in this water and then I'll just stick it over here for now because I'm going to use this water to put out to this one when I light it on fire. And you see you just stick it in the flame and it instantly lights on fire. Very straightforward and obvious. And the wet one, if we stick that in the flame, nothing happens. In fact it's not even burnt. You can stick it on the full flame all that's happening is that it's heating up the water. Oops, there's a little bit of soot there. Now, if you leave it there long enough, what's gonna happen is that it will dry out this portion here, which is over the flame, and you can see it getting dry, and eventually that will catch fire. But the rest of it isn't going to burn because uh, it's still actually wet. Just the dry portion there is burning. So, uh, this portion here is still a little bit damp and still doesn't burn. So that's the same thing that's happening with uh, the cabbage experiment is that the water content of something is what determines whether it burns or not. Here you see I've got one half wet and one half dry. If I put that on, the uh, dry half catches fire and the wet half did not. Nothing at all happens to it. There we go.